Welcome to Starfinder The Fragments of Eternity Session 34. The first one back after the anniversary. Oh my god, the pre show. Oh uh, it is the 21st of October 2019. I am Ryan the GM. Here are the players. Hi ho. I'm Nico. How dare you call me? The best captain. Further enough, I've, I've got a story about that. We'll leave that for later. <laughs> And here we are, with Colin muted. Well, hello. I am uh, now in a different place in the ordering, on account of having changed uh, my Discord name. Um, so, yeah, deal with that, bitch. Free Discord uh, promotion, yes. send us money, please. Hi, Thank you. I'm Colin, I'm playing like a Quint. Sneaky, spooky, altogether kooky. The Ads family. La, 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 la. We don't win that. La, 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 la. We, own, we own all... The rights to the <laughs> we don't we don't own the rights to I any can hear of the, the lawsuits now. <laughs> particularly not um the, the film from the nineties. The legislation. Or the other one. Won't somebody think of the legislation? Or the new one. <laughs> oh yeah, shit, there's a new one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, um it was um oh, who, mm, there was a comic, wasn't there? I think it was like Zoe Quinn was gonna write the comic, which is why so, I heard it. Carnival. And then <laughs> Nobody is surprised. Alex. <laughs> Greetings. I'm Alex, and I play Nix5, the resident spreadsheet. <laughs> resident <laughs> spreadsheet. Tool. Which is the best one in the series. <laughs> resident spreadsheet. He's also an Android mechanic, Excellent. if anyone's interested. I am. <laughs> oh, thanks. You're welcome. That's why we come back. Yay. Me too. <laughs> no, I'm just jumping on the bandwagon. Sorry, but it's also your turn. Hi, I'm Callum. I will be playing Zig, the magical space threat from nice. space. Nice. That's a good intro. Ah! That was sorry. Worse. Why are you <laughs> fucking stop the, it? But it's the the titles moved. That's what it is. Is that what it is? Yeah, it used to be like up there. Yeah, I moved it further down like ages ago, but yeah. For the anniversary, yes. Yeah. Aha! Just so as that um, all the other stuff we had in fit in or fat, fat in. Yeah. So all the stuff fat in. Fitted. It's fatted. It fat in. Yep. <laughs> uh, right. What? Who remembers what happened last time? Well. <sighs> There was a skater boy, and she said, "See you later, boy." Um, we don't want that. We're going to deal with the dragon. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't know if you want to own that song and want us to get the money to get these rights. Please like, subscribe, and uh, comment below. Ring like, that mm -hmm. bell. Yep. Thank you very much. Yep. <laughs> yep, yep, yep. Please yep. shelter us. If, 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 if you're watching, Avril, I love you. Um, <laughs> we're sorry that they killed you and replaced you with that clone. <laughs> Please go to the right. I song. lost that. <laughs> <laughs> Let's not go down the conspiracy, Craig. I'm going so quickly. Please, Alex. <laughs> How I wish to derail further. <laughs> <laughs> that is my new goal in this game. See, to be fair, right? See if anyone ever decides to find this, like these beautiful audio tapes. Like destined to be scattered across a spooky space station in the future. Um, hopefully, they'll have listened this far and realized that, yeah, we do still pretend to turn up to RP. So, <laughs> <laughs> instead of just sharing our weekly conspiracies. <laughs> so good. Uh, but yeah, what else happened last week? <laughs> Nothing. Um, last time. I got some, I got some scavengers uh, burned. Burned some scavengers. You got compensated. <laughs> reluctantly. Extremely <laughs> yeah. reluctantly. Um, mm. Mm. Um, I got abducted. I don't know if that's true. Willingly. <laughs> <laughs> I was willingly abducted. Do you mean you were taken somewhere? Yeah. Willingly abducted. It's like that justification for murder being preemptive self defense. <laughs> it's not a thing. <laughs> we'll speak about that now, dears. Yeah. Uh, Quest Arcade's called preemptive revenge. <laughs> so <laughs> good. It's basically said the exact same thing. But yep. <laughs> yep, so good. Preemptive self defense. 
Uh, yeah, so, Nico, you talk us through what you remember. We'll do it in order then. Um, that's what I remember. I got some scavengers burned, and then the, what was the name of the, 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 the Vesk general that's the whole thing that happened here? Oh, no, no, no. All right, so there's yeah. two... There's the start leader of the... Yeah, yeah, leader yeah I was going to say, the, there's, the, there's two important Vesk in question. There is... Yeah. The, Demoratosh is the one that's the... That, 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 that's that's Demo the god. Demogesh. Demogesh. Demo 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 yeah. And so. flipping, like, shh. And <laughs> and stuff. Like, you know, like... <laughs> you. You are the reason why I have named Vesk this way. So, Mr. <laughs> Zora, the Abyss Dora. <laughs> <laughs> Um, so, Demogesh, uh, the Great Epoch Annihilator, right? Yes. Or whatever they were called. <laughs> and then... Mm, grave, grave Epoch, wasn't it? Yeah, that is right. You're c fully correct. Grave Always. Epoch Annihilator. And then the head of the Obsidian Star. Obsidian Star. You know, I said the Obsidian One Order, and I was like, nope, that's from something else. It's called from... My Presence. And it was Matva... Oh God, I'm going to try and say the whole name now. Matva Varala Nellis. Or Nestless. I need to pick easier names. <laughs> Vrala Nestless, um, and their name is the Event Horizon. Yes. So but yeah. Yes, I have been. My presence has been requested slash ordered. I mean, we all know it was an order, but like, <laughs> it, it's essentially for officer request. And then I stepped on the iPod and went swoosh. Yeah. It was very much a Martian drop pod style thing. <laughs> I think that covers Zora for the last sesh, I think. I think so, yeah. Uh, it was also like scavengers for the ship, by the way, that's where all the, the scavengers got burned, going to go in the ship for we repair, had well, rescue things. ship. <laughs> the person with like, all the fire resistance just forgot to tell all those people that they might experience. <laughs> Immediate it was, fire. It was something. I mean, I, I, I just assumed that. I mean, I really should learn to just actually see every little detail. But like, that'd have been really a part of the contract, you know? Like, oh, I buy the little straps and get your scar. <laughs> <laughs> you might want to watch it for him. <laughs> actually, if anything, you should have like made a, a, a stipulation in the contract that they have to pay for any traps they damage. <laughs> <laughs> Aye, those are fucking high class incendiary grenades, and I would like them back. Thank you very much. <laughs> those were expensive. <laughs> That's <for the> contract. <laughs> they were actually that expensive, but I, mean, I do recall you fucking up bribing them. That I do remember. I um, did, but then I think I double bribed them later. I did something that made them a wee bit more like at least. Accepted. You eventually gave in and gave them some money, didn't you? <laughs> yeah, but it was a lower price. It was like a. It was a lower price. And I came out and apologised. You got a like, best I'd... friend. Oh yeah, that's right. The ooze. I'm forgetting about the ooze. That's right. The ooze. I, you <laughs> always forget about the ooze. The amnesia I, ooze cube. I really fucking <laughs> forget about the ooze. Pardon my right. Sweet child. Yep. <laughs> Ooh, sweet child. <laughs> sweet yeah, unnamed child. I feel, I feel bad. <laughs> He's chasing after me. Please, somebody save my house. I don't want to lose an RP. Please. Ah, <laughs> oh, that poor space dog. Anyway. It's not even my fault again. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, I feel like you didn't shut the door behind you. I mean, it's not my fault again. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> um, I'm not a pet in real life. I don't know, I shouldn't have to think about these things. <laughs> <laughs> this week on Space Therapy. Um, uh, sorry, I breaks down, because he lost his ears. But yeah, the drop pod thing looks somewhat to the the image I put in the Discord chat, because that's totally how I imagined it, like the from the Expanse. Most definitely. Like from Mars Attacks. Sure, why not? <laughs> speaking, <laughs> of, <laughs> speaking of Akagak, uh, Lego. <laughs> yeah. What do you remember from last time? Uh, you know, things. Um, <laughs> honestly, I'm struggling. Uh, I, I remember that I was at requisition for purposes of Goshi Dragon, presumably, um, at the end, but I'm kind of struggling to remember what else I did. I remember I remember there being faffing around with the news. Mm -hmm. um, I feel like there was probably some of Zig moping. Um, I mean, Zig came and spoke to you. 
dead! Oh shit, yeah, I thought that was the session before. I'm not doing well today. Yeah, that was that was all right. I mean, I, it was it was a case of like, I think I think uh, Zig is putting off a bit, sort of discussing his anxieties with the people who particularly uh, concern and 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 was kind of going to. I think I, someone who's maybe positioned himself as kind of like a, a not a shoulder to lean on, but as like a, a grizzled advice cop. <laughs> <laughs> I love that kid show. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Riddled advice, advice comp. <laughs> yeah, that is, it works as far as I'm <laughs> Now in stereo, apparently. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, I think that. Yeah, sure. I just ever like, try to say it's mine that he's a bit. You know. yeah, I feel like the, the conversation would summarize as only you judge your kid. Move on. <laughs> um, not to do any disservice. And yet, yeah, then you got a nice visitor at the end as well. Mm-hmm. Been like, you know, lock and load, back up and shut up, other such. Lock and load. Oh, yes. Let's go. With oh, another character whose name I can barely I say, which was uh-huh. S. Kate Isabel Furler. Furler. <laughs> the Furler. <laughs> I don't know why what I do it to myself. Dinosaurs. <laughs> the Furler. <laughs> I don't know why I just turn pure Quaker when I say that. What plays on the Quaker, Quaker sound? I don't know, like I heard her. <laughs> what? <laughs> no, no. Carnival. <laughs> Carnival. Hey, it's not me saying that. I know, but I just feel like it needs to work for everybody. So, Alex, next five. Yes. Would you like to remind us what happened? I had a lovely chat with Sig. Mm-hmm. And we resolved some of his issues. Mm-hmm. And then I created different issues. Mm-hmm. Do you want to elaborate yes. beyond that, or is are you good? Um, it's just, it's it's all about the corporates, man. They, <laughs> they they think they rule over everything, and they come in here, freezing <laughs> our coffee shops. Yeah. And, Look how good uh, space diners. <laughs> yep. Just because we did a bit of a hack. Yeah. Oh god, yeah, I forgot about that. <laughs> yeah. Right, remember the four separate cliffhangers, Colin, though? Yeah. Um, I mean, look, I don't really remember things. That's not true. <laughs> Cries in GM notes. Um, but yeah. Yeah, that was pretty bad, to be honest. Mm-hmm. It was... I mean, it's not the worst idea I've ever had. Hmm. That's Pro- true. Probably not. I also, I, like, I'm really loath to remind you that I think most of it was Alice's idea. <laughs> I'm, so, I'm actually listening to her. No so, yeah, like, she's she, got us out of issues before. It really does I'm that sure. thing where you look up and to the mm. left. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> I value her opinion on some matters. And I appreciate that because I play Alice and I know she would be touched to hear that. <laughs> <laughs> Despite just being touched. Never mind. Um, oh. So, anything else that uh, you remember about last time? Uh, I mean, we got some nice uh, power armor. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. I'm, yeah. I'm kitted out. You and Alice both. You did a really great negotiation check through a data pad. Yep. yep. Um, it was solid. Yep, 100%. I don't want that, to speak to you, speak to this other robot. <laughs> that's how I'm talking to every character from now on. Holds up data pad. This is more charismatic than me. <laughs> the I am it's sad voice. It's also better intimidating <laughs> than me. <laughs> to be fair, the right, see some like android in power armor with all these weird white veins all over his face walked up to you and held up a data pad and the Hello, I am intimidating you. <laughs> Give me all your money. Press Excuse next. Excuse me. Beep. Oh. <laughs> Low battery. <laughs> Please enter credit card details here. Oh dear, so good. Um, Zig. Oh god. Yes. Hello. Um, yes. Hi. Me. Uh. <laughs> oh. Yes, I had some lovely chats with some lovely folk. Um. Mm-hmm. Radiant Supreme popped up. And was like, oh, and I was like, ah, um, <laughs> that's what? really it. That's, that's all I remember, really. Do you remember um, any words that were said, or was that beyond? 
Uh, see, I did write the words down, but everything I own is currently in boxes, so... Mm. I don't have that written down. Is I could a, have listened to it, I guess. Is there a reasons for the boxes, or...? Oh, yes! Um, uh, Uncle's moving out, so I am cool. moving all my stuff around to different places. Oh. In the you have some actual space! Yes. Oh, um, which will be nice. Mm -hmm. But, yes. So, um, I'll come crash against something. <laughs> what, when there's space? Yeah, but we'll all um, come crash. We'll just we'll have Starfinder at Calamus. It's yeah. a great idea. So, um, I actually pulled my computer out of a box today, going, ah, it's all in boxes. <laughs> Some of it should still be in box shaped things, though. You did leave those bits in, right? Mm. So, that's. That would be handy. Oh! <laughs> Oops. This is why I've just like plastered most of your circuit boards and motherboards onto the wall. I mean, yeah, it's, it's kind like, of just thinking that. I mean, it's you know efficient for cooling and yeah, just a bunch of fans. I've got a big. I've just, I've just got a desk <laughs> fan just <laughs> pointing uh, at it. Uh, but oh, I've, I've got like a wee hand fan that I'm waving at it occasionally. But re regarding the game that we're in. Um, ah yes, the game that we are playing yes. currently. I am. Um, any any thoughts on what the Radiant Supreme maybe was like? You should probably know this. Do you know? Any any, any remember? It's been <laughs> oh, what did he even say again? I, I can't even remember. Like what he I can't say. remember. It was literally what a thing we, we it ended was... on. I know. Mm -hmm. uh... Um. The stranger has awoken. That's the one. <laughs> and then Zig dropped to his knees and was like, "What?" Mm -hmm. So, let's talk about goals. No oh, heck. Because that's a thing we do. Thing. Mm -hmm. oh, um, darn. Beautiful goals, goals, goals. And let's start back up at Zora. Ah. Uh, yeah. No. Get the shit fixed. Um, I mean, I guess I'm, I'm probably just about to find it. But not yet. So mine's just finding it. Mm -hmm. So, want to tell me what it is for the people at home? Find out more about the Vesk presence. I honestly thought you were going to say, find out more by subscribing to our Patreon. <laughs> <laughs> find out more by subscribing. <laughs> uh, <laughs> you you you'll get weekly uh, photo shoots. Do you know be great? If we had an audience, we could have sold Patreon levels for them picking your goals. That I mean, would be mad. Firstly, I I would I would just find a way to do what I want to do and word it so that they think they're getting their way. <laughs> and that would probably be fine. Yeah. Yeah, pretty good. <laughs> because then we would start the how can we twist it so Lyco can't twist it get mini game yeah, in the background. Like a mini game, exactly. <laughs> yeah. At the end of it, like Lyco is a scuttermander through all the body mods <laughs> that he ended up getting. <laughs> uh, at least he's got eight arms at the very least, or like six arms. Mm -hmm. I like yeah. scuttermander. Mm -hmm. yep. I mean, I'm down with scuttermanders. <laughs> Down with the sickness, you know. Oh, yeah, anyway. You're sounding more like the cartoons. So it did. So. Ting tang. Wall wall bing bang. Ting wall bing bang bong. Or whatever it says. I don't know. Feels racist to me. Lyco. Hi. Goals. I don't know what mine are because I don't want to look at them. Understood. Stand. I no, we asked like no, no. Let's come yeah. on, Lyco. Get look at your goal. Let's see. <sighs> right. Let me find it first. <laughs> Where's new party goals? Oh, there it goes. Star goal. God, why did you do this? Um, action one. That that that. Gather actionable info on the Mogesh. Uh, I I was gonna try and do that, but then, um. Then, then the last uh, session happened. He arrived, and there was talk of vault stuff, mm. and you know that seemed pressing. Mm -hmm. mm. Agreed. 
So what's the thoughts on goals? Well, I, like it goes, I think, think that one still very much applies. But... So it's it's pushed slightly... Not into the long grass, but it's more like a, a, a near term, but not immediate goal. Mm-hmm. If you want to express it in a really awkward and inelegant way, like I just did, that that might be how you would do it. Um, so I don't know if it might be worth having. Oh my God! What a pre- oh, sorry. Ah, that was noise. Um, it, whether it might be worth having a sort of immediate goal of follow SK Furler and fuck the dragon up or whatever it is exactly she is intending to do maybe it's just rob the dragon blind kick him in the dick or whatever um well to remind you of what her plan is it's to stop him stop him from doing magic things with the drow bits yeah getting into the vault of the drag queen yeah. i feel like i said that i mean i feel like my words were better <laughs> But, okay. Um, <laughs> yeah, I mean, look, look, look. Like, it's been a while. It's, it's session 34. It's a lot of things while. have happened. A of beers. Like, I'm how long ago did, it. like, how long ago did she get drank? Like, it's been so long. Um, yeah, he, he had he had liquid Drow Queen, and that meant that he had Drow Queen DNA in his gut, so you can presumably, like, vomit up in the lock or something. Genuinely, how long ago was Ten it? Ten sessions ago. I, I was going to say, like, that might actually be what he's doing, but no, presumably he has some sort of magic powers because he's a fucking magical dragon. Uh, and that seems plausible. Mm-hmm. It's likely. Right. It's likely. Um, so Non-magical dragon would just be like... Just be a fucking shit lizard. <laughs> It'd be a kind of cool lizard. It'd be a cool lizard. Yeah. It wouldn't really work. Like, do you know any winged fucking fire but even lizards? Like. Yeah, how, how are you going to do any of that shit without magic, you know? Right, so what are you doing with Gather Action? Are you going to stick it to the ideas pile for now and write a, a more current goal? How about... Yes. That sounds like a good idea, yeah? Okay. Yeah, we'll let, let's we'll do go. that and uh, see if I can find the goals again. Um, do you want me just to just type the link in for you? Would that be easier? I've found it. I've got, I've got it. So, cool. <laughs> um, Start a goal. Oh, how do I make it go the colour again? Well, uh, which blue is it? That would do. Anyway, um, assist furler. Is that how you spell furler? <laughs> furler. Yep. Furler. Um, humani. Humanity. <laughs> Yeah, uh, stop humanity. Stop humanity. So close. From as goes. Getting into <laughs> Drow Town population. Bad. <laughs> okay, no, I'll put it more, phrase it more sensibly. Yeah. Into Drow Town. Cool. cool, so. And also not humanity. Further. In preventing Himani from getting into the drive vault. Who's his cool. name spelled? Him, H I M, A N I. Okay. Himani. Um, you had most of it. I, I was pretty bang on for someone who is just absolutely talking constant shit. Looking up into the left. Um, right, okay. Well, that's a good goal. Are um, you having an eye test? And <laughs> like, I, I, I don't know what ASMR in the background. It is testing. You're right about that. Oh. And there are eye twitches. <laughs> Nix five. Yes. Let's review your goal. <laughs> is my goal accurate and reasonable? The words are understood. <laughs> yes. However, it may need some Actually, the word is understand. Very clever. I like it. Ha, ha, One, ha. 100 demotion points to you. Yes! <laughs> I'll win. Um. <laughs> I'll spend them all on Lyco! <laughs> <laughs> like he's sort of 
a slot machine. Yes. <laughs> My <laughs> God. <laughs> Do not put things in your fellow players unless it's ideas. Ah. Anyway. <laughs> or beer. It's not bad ideas. Or beer. Willingly. Um, I'm paying um, beer myself. Don't worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> Double beer. I have, I have that handled. It's fine. I trust you. Handled. Uh, um, understand Ivan Ooze. Yes. Many whips. Yeah, let's explore um, that. Yeah. <laughs> so, as we last seen our fearless adventurer, you were in a diner with your data pad and Alice, plucky young Alice, and you went to hack the consortium. The good old Aspis consortium. What was I hacking them for? It was to find out more about Ivan. <laughs> oh yes. I feel like that's just the accepted name for the used now. I, I was actually like trying to actually wonder is there another character that popped up I can't remember called Ivan or Zeus <laughs> News, obviously. Like. <laughs> <laughs> it's because you said Ivan News. Uh, uh, like, so the assembly cube <laughs> is what it is. <laughs> so you were trying to understand the assembly cube Zora basically shouted everyone in to be like, look, this thing's here, it, get used to it, and everyone was like, hmm. And then you said, Alice, and she was like, hello, sorry I was muted, and then walked through and was like, I don't, rem I don't know anything about it, it's it's a cube. <coughs> you know, like, could you learn more? What about all the records from the Aspis Consortium? She's like, we could go hack them. And I said yes. Mm -hmm. And you took her to, to a diner <laughs> and you hacked it. And it 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 went about as well as can can be expected, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and then, weirdly, everybody inside the diner and kind of locally to the diner seemed to stop moving, and people far away seemed to still be moving. And then, click clack, click clack, click clack on the diner floor, and in walked Emma Onarakas, CEO of a uh, Aspis Consortium. Yes, good old Emma O. <laughs> good old this Emma is fine. Uh, yeah, so what would you like your goal to be in that regard? Um, yeah, I can just get the data from Aspis at the moment because I've not really got anything specific to do with MO mm -hmm. that jumps out at me. Okay. I mean, I'm probably going to shoot her, but you know. I mean, that's a backup plan, really. As Alice. It's not a terrible plan. Yeah. Um, but, yeah. But no, it's okay. So it's still pursue the data <laughs> quest. But, yep. Okay, cool. I like that. And... Z -z 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 zig z z z z z hi <laughs> Hello! Hey there. So. Cool. Right. We're, we're, we're here again. Yep. We're at that Back point. Back again. Yep. What so would you like to I kind do of half one? did this one last time. Mm -hmm. Right, cool. Um, mm -hmm. But I don't think the captain's particularly accessible at this point. Okay. Really? <laughs> I love um, that. To be fair, given Zig's ability to appear in places... <laughs> this is true. Um, <laughs> but um, I, I was going to ask, did we... I, I found my, my little notebook. You also fly in space, can't you? I mean, like, this is true. That's where I'm, right? Just um, follows, follows the trail. <laughs> so, had we... How, did we establish that... Was this just Orion telling people things that, that Octurn was the known as the Stranger thing? Or is that something that we decided to knew or something? Uh, we could probably start the... Remember last we time. could probably start the session by having you roll and we'll find out if you know that. That's what okay, we can cool, do. Cool. So we'll we'll get to that. Right up. Um, but I feel like that's fairly pressing. <laughs> cool. Okay. Yeah. I, I mean, that, I, mean I just need to word that in some sort of way. Right. Cool. So, like what would be the, the what is the end result you would like? So think of that. We don't think of how to word starting the quest. Tell me what you want to have achieved by the quest. What's the outcome? So people go, yeah, I want to go like get loads of treasure. Why? So I can be rich. Cool. So being rich is the goal, right? Uh -huh. How you do that is irrelevant. Um, 
or killing the dragon. Why do you want to kill the dragon? Because he sits on gold. Cool. Do you want the gold? No, I just want to kill a dragon. Cool. So you want to kill a dragon? Uh huh. See, like there's, whereas some people want to kill the dragon to look cool in front of the princess so he can become the new king. Can I do that? Yeah, if you want. There's yes. enough dragons, kings, and princesses. Oh, cool. <laughs> I will be next. Screw you, Ivan. <laughs> Imagine Ivan was king of the assembly cubes. <laughs> <laughs> that teach you for being rude to him. The of the cube. <laughs> king Ivan. Right in this minute. Terrible. Of <laughs> assembly <laughs> cubes. That's how he's Oosley Screech. I <laughs> guess. Oos Brothers form. <laughs> Hold on, let's just pop that there. Anyway. Um. I guess um, Zig would want, I guess, to find out what the Radiant Supreme means by a walk-in or a walk-in or whatever he said. Yeah. So, because um, even even if he knows that it's you know, mm -hmm. yeah, no, that's a good one. The planet. Yeah. What does what does that even mean? <laughs> yeah. Right. You know. Never know. What does anything even mean exactly? <laughs> It'd be so good oh, if these goals were like, like, see times that goals were slotted. If that's what generated ah. XP until they were completed, like, by the end of the game, if Zig got all of his completed, he'd be like level thirty, <laughs> and it only goes to twenty. Oh no! <laughs> font. Yeah, you have the best way to do that Shit. would just be to copy and paste your old one back over the top of it. Do you want me to fix the fonts? I mean, it's a dangerous question. Can we just do <laughs> this and then just, and then just retype it? Nope. You need to paste as is. Ah, oh, oh, shit! What have I done? <laughs> For those at home that can't see any of this, uh, just just wait. Actually. Um, Please stand by. <laughs> why? Why next? Oh my god, I hate it so much. <laughs> <laughs> it has no place in this goal sheet. I there, recovered the artifact. There is the old goal sheet. <laughs> Recover the artifact of Black Slack the Buff. Which probably isn't a million miles away from what you have to do in this game, right? Probably not. <laughs> can that can that be an NPC voice, Ryan? Can you, can you have some can I just, a, like that can I just affect that? Yeah. <laughs> yes. Ah, I offer you this quest. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I can do that voice. I don't even know. I actually kind of broke right now for some reason. <laughs> <That's nice. laughs> oh dear. No, I can't do that voice. Yeah, <laughs> so, oh. <laughs> I don't even know how I would even like move my mouth in ways to make those noises. <laughs> it's like a very open mouth noise, I think. Like, it's like, hey. <laughs> <laughs> no. Um. It's... You make like a bat. Like I would start starting with the, the voice of, you know, the... Oh, what's his name that offers the, the questions at the bridge? Yeah, the um, one that kind of... In Monty Python, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Mm -hmm. Answer me like, know, What is your yeah, name? Yes, I do see. <laughs> what is your favourite colour? What is the airspeed velocity of an unladen swallow? African or European? <laughs> yeah, no! <laughs> <laughs> Oh, it's so good. It's also just Tim the Enchanter, the end. Um, it's huge! Teeth. I love that film. It is such a dumb film. Anyway, uh, yeah, so we've got Discover What the Radiant Supreme <laughs> Means by Awoken. Right, there we go. Cool. We have goals, everybody? Nice. Next, why goals, is there... Goals, goals, goals. Why do you have a bigger name box than everybody else? Next, goals, 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 goals. Bigger and better, and because zig has got a silly... Ah, okay, that makes Big sense. Big idea. Of course, of course it Oh, does. sorry. Nope, that's fine. It just, um, it just, I wasn't sure what Nyx had magic in the background to upset me later, like when I mouse, <laughs> like, like when I mouse over things, and for some reason it highlights horrible nightmarish images, <laughs> just lost goals in the background of the sheet. Um, but yes, 
Anyway, let us <laughs> actually start the game. No. <laughs> okay. I disagree. <laughs> I mean, we go through this every session, but honest to God, like, I, I, I would literally just turn up for the pre-game and I'd be like, alright, that was good. <laughs> like, see everybody tomorrow for the game. Uh, we just turn up, start RPing and leave. Um, and then turn up next day to do the actual post-game show. Yep, cool. Anyway. The camera fades away from Versus, wherever it is. Alright, so we have that nice shot of the, you know, the camera pulling away from the ground, from the assembly ooze on the ground, um, as it f zooms away up in a straight line and then it eventually overtakes the kind of pod, the uh, kind of drop pod that Zora is in, kind of standing, with obviously holding onto the, the safety rail. Uh, inside this is all the vests get shuggled ever so slightly by the ascension back up to the the ship. But you find I'm standing in the corner with my arms crossed. <laughs> I don't, don't want to sit down. <laughs> <laughs> and then um, it's like when you're standing in the subway and you get sh shook about and you end up looking like an idiot because you have to do a stumble step. And then, <laughs> but to sure you've got a tail to steady yourself, so whatever. And then. Just my tail wrapped around the rail. And <laughs> I, like it's not yeah. <laughs> I love the idea that there's tail rails for like Vesk transport. That's so good. It's a it's a That's right. so it's good. Tail rail. Tail rail. <laughs> well, there's the session title. Tail mm. rail. Um, excellent. It's also just like the public transport system for the Usoki, I guess. Um, <laughs> 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 but yeah. Anyway, words we don't use often. It's okay. Um, they are a people. So, yeah, so the camera zooms away past um, past Zora, up out of the, the orbit of uh, Versus, where the Vesk ships are kind of sporadically spread around, along with some of the packed world kind of ships that remain in the fleet. And then we zoom way past um, some of the other planets we zoom past the Adari city ship, through the Diaspora, past beautiful Eox, past Triaxis, past Leovara, past Britannia, past Aposti, and we settle at the outer edges of the solar system, where we see a greenish-brown planet with lots of clouds swirling angrily around it. The occasional crackles of a uh, kind of green and orange and purple lightning, as if there's a planet-scale storm, and then it pulses with a kind of purple light, and Zig wakes up on the floor of the garage. <gasps> you just hear the That's echoing words. Thing the echoing words of the stranger has awoken. Or from the radiance of his words, Spirits were pleasurable. Awoken. 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 Jumped to his feet. <laughs> and then. Um, uh, <laughs> kind of. That sort of like. When you're kind of woken up and you're like terrified all of a sudden uh, and have no idea what's going on and where you are. Um, just kind of scampers around hurriedly and. Kind of just looks around to see what he sees. Yeah, and it's the the safe house. Oh, good. Um, is everything sort of just as it was, or does, would, would you notice anything sort of out of place, or? Uh, why don't you roll? Okie dokie. Okie dokie. Brian Bernardo here, Basoki Benjania. Basoki Balanore. Basoki. Um. We here I is. <laughs> We're here I is. That sounds We're more here like a I is. Sounds more like a revelation. Um, <laughs> would I perception or? Yeah. You would yeah, perceive. Pers 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 perspirate. <laughs> that should that should be a zig skill, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> Roll to perspire. <laughs> uh, yeah, you look around. Uh, nothing seems like 
unusual or ethereal, um, if that helps. Um, there's yeah. a draft coming from like the open door. Um, I think he would like. Imagine the reading to Boom's just or slowly like shuffling her way outside. <laughs> like a really low budget <laughs> well, special he would, effect. He'd go up to the door, like look outside it, and if he didn't see anything, close the door. And if he saw something weird, he'd probably yeah, still close the like, door. <laughs> there is a weird kind of marking that leads out the door. It's almost like um, as if someone's like scuffed down or polished down, or like, you no, know, like a path gets worn down the more people that walk uh-huh. on it. Like there is like that kind of effect on the the ground, and um, that leads out of okay. the the main kind of charter doors. A desire path. Hmm. Um, I think, yeah, Zig would kind of like kind of look left and right and follow the path and close the door behind him. Go cool. to just leave the safe house and wander it, off in this path. It seems very Ziggy to do. It does, so. right? It really does. <laughs> The path's probably the tiniest bit reflective as well, so that's probably another reason yeah, why. Yeah, it's just like dazzled just slightly by this, like... <laughs> like it's, the, it's, the, the morning you frost. You can't even tell if it was a sparkle there, but it's... <laughs> yeah. Okay, yeah. So Just how they caught the original munchkins. <laughs> <laughs> oh, horrible. Horrible, like, uh, prequel movie. Um, <laughs> but anyway, yeah. So, I think we'll stick with the zig for now. As you kind of wander a bit, um, you wander for five or ten minutes, and mm-hmm. you you've obviously travelled a bit outside to like re-image all those uh, digital posters that you were putting up everywhere um, when you were trying uh-huh. to like flyer bomb everything. The mm-hmm. the path that you're kind of heading, or that this weird kind of line, seems to be leading closer to like the kind of town centre. Okie dokie. Mm. I keep following. Um, I think. Um, is it like clearly heading towards like the. Uh, the, the You're like still maybe the, about 15, like, 20 minutes maybe away. Maybe 20 minutes away from like town still on this way. Because remember, he's okay, this a relatively so, remote place. Um, yeah. But yeah, like this, this kind of. Like the only reason you're noticing this is because you've seen where it started, if that makes sense. Uh-huh. This kind of path, so you can kind of see that it's still heading in the direction of town. Cool. I think he'd follow it until he was kind of nearish the town. If it was like, if it continued on towards the town, or yeah, so like maybe. Else um, but he would stop just before he was in like the mm-hmm. center of town. You know what I mean? Yeah, you don't even get that far because here's that GM moment, and yep, you walk for another five, five, ten minutes. And you notice a familiar, well, familiar faces, I guess, might be the best way to put it. Oh, okay. <laughs> why, why were you so worried? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> it's because, you know what, in my head, because you started the sentence with, ah, familiar, and then you're like, familiar faces. I was like, wait, am I just seeing, like this one thing with all these faces that I know? Yes, or? you are. <laughs> yeah, okay. So you are seeing one thing with all these faces, you know. You see the assembly ooze. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, ah. Uh. <laughs> um, I think Zig's kind of frozen. <laughs> um. It wobbles. It seems to have been heading towards you. Um, Zig. There's <laughs> then. Ah. Uh, good ooze. It just kind of stops and wobbles. Zig wobbles back. <laughs> okay, yeah. I think he goes. Bloop. What's it? What to try and communicate with it? Like, you got to spell language. Maybe this is your time. To oh, say. actually, <laughs> hold the boat. <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> I don't know if there's ooze language. <laughs> there is not. <laughs> uh, Primordials. Um, I'm sure I did. Uh, share language. Uh, wait, hold on. It's touch. Never mind. <laughs> 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 uh, 
I mean, you do have that mind link power. Yeah, I know, but I don't want to be eaten by the ooze. Don't you have That's touch as well. No. It's all touch. All my <laughs> sort of mindy things that are touch, apart from mind thrust. Okay. So this is why I needed an Emelyn to just mind, yes. mind touch all the things at range. Yeah. Um, <laughs> um, yeah, yeah, I'm too touchy feely. Uh, yeah, I think it's. it's he initially try well he go bloop and then go um so where 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 are you headed and kind of like take like one foot step back um it rotates on the spot and then just slowly starts heading away from you toward back towards like the town center direction and then it stops after like a, a meter or two I think um, Zig would wait a beat and then kind of very gingerly kind of follow it. Okay, yeah. And then off you go with the use. Um, you, also, <laughs> like, you walk off for about maybe another five, five minutes. Can you roll mm -hmm. perception again? I can. Uh, do you want me to write anything? No, it's it's also a very very low difficulty, but oh okay. I just need to see. But if you never know. That's yep. It's Luke. fine. Perfect. Yeah. If you don't go, uh, you hear a very loud explosion. Ah! And we cut from you as you like look up and go ah. <laughs> hey now, you're a monster. <laughs> Explode. <laughs> um, right. So we cut from you. We then move over to Nix5. Hello. Nixiest. Hello. <laughs> so, Emma O makes her appearance, and then in that kind of dun 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 freeze frame moment, once that's over, Alice immediately turns to you and goes, Do we know her? I've not met her, have I? Uh -huh. No. As far as I tell, no. No, I think Zora did tell you about her, though. Yeah, so I'm aware of her. Yeah, I feel like the whole... I would said blade legs, for sure. It's a very distinct feature. <laughs> well, yeah, like our weird glass, like, points, yeah. Yeah. We're kind of black crystal things. Very, very distinct, to be honest. Um, yeah. Plus, I think as well, for Nyx, you probably would know a lot about Emma O purely from that's who took care of Emmalyn. Emmalyn agreed to work with Emma O. So yep. keep in mind that as a point of the crew being aware of where's that pilot we had? It'll, like, I think all of you will know because there was probably a meeting we probably should have had where we talked about the fact that Emlyn stayed behind to work out what was going on in her head with Emma O. So that's probably, there's probably enough um, there maybe even are visuals um, so I just roll culture and we'll, we'll see how how much yeah. of it is inbuilt and how much of it you need to have borrowed from that meeting that never happened. <laughs> I'd say it's enough. To, I would say it's enough for you to have at least gleaned whatever her like you know LinkedIn or spaced in profile is yeah I've probably done some uh, hate googling of Aspis mm -hmm. yeah easily um, there's been plenty of downtime in general since that event um, mm -hmm. which was many sessions ago now um, not um, talk about the event <laughs> don't think about the event don't talk about the event it will cause the you event. distress um because I believe that was the 25th of February. Um, I think it was the last time we had Emily. February. Yeah. So that was session 18. We're on 34. Yeah. Jeez. A while ago. Yeah, I know how time moves forward at the normal pace it does. Um, time to go. But, yeah. So, um, you have enough savvy to be like, that's the CEO of Aspis Consortium. Dot, dot, dot. Um... In which case, yes, Alice. Do we like her? Is she within earshot? 
she's doing the dramatic other side of the diner posing with her hands on her hips thing. You know, uh, as one does. And waiting as... on your response as, you know, Alice has been like, do we know her? Do we like her? Are we in danger? <laughs> yes, no, yes. Okay, duck. Why? Yeah. So is that what your response is? Because I'm going to give you the, the one second response to decide what you're doing. In which case the response is no. <laughs> and then she turns around and you can see... Um, can you roll mysticism? Yes. <laughs> wow, poor. Yeah, so she's casting some Technomancer bullshit. And that's pretty much mm. what you get. Um, so you don't really get time to respond. Your response was, no. <laughs> <laughs> um, let me see if I can find an image of this as well for you guys, because it might be cool to have a visual for this one. Uh, and let's see if this decides to actually load up the core rulebook as well, so I can steal said image. Where are you? I just would like the core book, please. That's because it's PZ is z like oh seven one zero one e, because of course that's what it's called. It's not called, you know, Starfinder. Why would it be called that? The joys. So prepare yourself. Everything will be fine. How about you? <laughs> Hashtag, it probably wasn't fine. Okay, so let me see. I should really find this art from this book and then steal it. So you see her take that information on board, kind of like nod solemnly. She then just says, duck. And then um, turns, and then, like from her, she starts casting a whole bunch of random. Uh, like sigils and hand movements and such and then out of like orange and purple light she forms a massive bazooka and she like shoulders and then fires at Emma O. Handy. Yeah. And then boom. And we cut out there. Where it's just the shot of her saying duck, all the light forming this big orange kind of massive construct on her so shoulder, and then all the kind of purple light generating inside it, and then just the flash goes off of purple light, and then it clicks outside the diner. It blows Which up. One? There are so many now. Yep, at least two. And then. <laughs> <laughs> at least two. At least two. And then we click over. As soon as we have that, it's got the the explosion of the diner and then the ears pricking up of Zig and then we click to Lyco I believe you're in a the conspiracy office I prefer the conspiratorium but you know yep, go on yep, sure yep go with the conspiratorium I don't, I don't give a shit where you eat all the conspiracies really fast and throw them up yep so you can consume more yes <laughs> question mark never question mark he's always innocent so, yeah, you have SK. And she has said, you know, get hurry up, get to the chopper! Um, um, basically, the summary was, the summary of it really was, are you good to go now, please, let's go. We don't have much um, time left. Your answer would be um, something like, uh, uh, can I get my, my team and my guns? And she kind of looks at you as, as if that's, like, she gives you that look of, she immediately thinks you're scum, and then you can see her soften her face, and she goes, that's why I'm here, to get you all, go just go. And she points to, like, the door. <laughs> Not the golden I do. door. But yeah. I do without speaking. I, yeah. I, I go, and I will begin rounding these guys up. Who, who, who first encountereth I? You're in an empty safe house. Oh, for fuck's sake. Um... Uh... Folks? 
Can you roll perception? Always, once I open my character's window. <laughs> do, 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 do. Generally speaking, you can roll it pretty well. Ah! Balls, sorry. Cool. Oh no, that's not great. Yeah, there's like... There's noise from like, traffic outside, but that's not unusual. Hmm. So I'm not picking up anything particular. Nah. Plus the doors and stuff are all closed over. Like so you kinda of walk around. Maybe like you leave your conspiratorium. You look yeah, up into the corridor, going... you don't see anyone. You walk into like the main kind of workshop and like big shutter doors are closed and you're kinda of like oh, what are you like? <laughs> yeah. I, uh my first response I think would be to uh calm the cat. Cool. It's amazing range. Uh, Actually, no, I don't need to be subtle because I can tune into the city wide shit. Yep. Uh, for whatever reason, there's no, you know, like the kind of do 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 hang up yeah. automatic thing. So you know it's not connecting. Yeah. So timeline wise, he's already well up in the air, presumably. If um, you knew where the captain was, you'd know no, he's I already know, left know. orbit. I like who doesn't yes. know that. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> I could listen to that. Um, well, mm. that's interesting because the second <laughs> second protocol is probably gonna be Nix. Right. Okay. So, Nix Five isn't in the workshop, and neither is Alice. Yeah. Because maybe you think, is... where is the captain? Calm captain. Do 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 do. Hmm. And you look around and go, well, Nix and Alice's stuff is here. But yeah. They, they did um, say they were gonna go out shopping though, and then. Hacking. I think, well, definitely they would be next port of the port of call given that I wasn't able to reach the cap, so I, I will calm Nix. Okay. My calm freezes in time. <laughs> um, right. Next, can you roll a reflex save? Yes. Sorry. <laughs> Um, Look at you splicing timelines. <laughs> I am timeline. Let me show you to check where I'm at. Which armor am I wearing at the moment? I wouldn't have the powered armor on yet, well. I mean, Alice is wearing it, so. Then yes, I do. <laughs> she wasn't gonna carry it. Wait. I already have equipped it. Yep. <laughs> um. <laughs> Didn't you just wear it out? I feel like you just both wore yep. it out. <laughs> Let's give it a reflex save. 25. That's a uh, reasonable. Um, uh, plus two if it's a spell or spell-like ability. I believe it is. I believe it's a spell-like ability. Um, <laughs> then twenty-seven. Um, uh, Bless it be the new armor. I think I'm being kind with that, but I also don't mind being kind with that because I think you want me <laughs> to be kind with that. Um, I mean, I could have ducked, like you said, but yeah, and you did say no. So, yeah, that's... Also, I don't really know what ducking would have done. Like, neither does Alice. <laughs> like, it was just... It was a word she knew to say. Um, <laughs> to indicate this could go yeah, badly. That's what one does. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's what I do. Give that uh, bonus a minus four. <laughs> 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 oh, dear. I just love the idea that the one thing that happens is that Emma O ducks. That would be funny. Um, but, yeah. So... Give me a second, what is a good set of stats to use for this? Give me two three moments and you go to the equipment section. Right. Sorry, my chair is super squeaky at the moment. It's okay. You can just pretend it's um, Zig thinking. Yeah, that makes sense to me. Yeah. Thinking. Start thinking noises, that, like yeah, yeah. That that, that <laughs> was the idea. Yeah. Um, I just realised the mute button on my mouse has stopped working, so I have to be thinking. That's my food. Right. Okay. So this is. Oh dear. Let me just roll this for now. So there's this one. Okay. That's reasonable, right? So, and then, 
Well, you were pleased when you made your save because it is 23. So you made it with a 25. So it's half damage. Which is. Did your suit do anything for electrical and fire? Uh, no, but I did take extra cortex resistance against uh, yeah I've got electricity 5 and fire is my is 10 cool. it's my damage resistance so does yeah, that need to be activated or is that built in like as a passive uh, that is Ooh, let me check Oh, sorry. No, it is my. It's seven fire resistance, which is on passive. Cool. Where did I get? Well, it's half which of this, have... which is reasonable. Uh, I think my electric resistance actually comes from my other suit of armor, which I no longer have on. Cool. So, so that's ele just fire resistance. Seven. Eleven E and F. <laughs> Because uh, you made your save. Cool. So that is eleven E and four F then. Cool. 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 Uh, I do not have my. Oh, let's turn off. I've got my energy shield active, which shouldn't be on. Yeah, I was wondering if cool. you would just turn that on when she said duck. Personally, it was like duck energy shield. Goes on. That would, that would have been smart. <laughs> I did not do that. It's okay. Alice is wily <laughs> that way. Um, right. So the the building has kind of collapsed on you a bit, mm -hmm. um, and it's mostly the blast from the plasma cannon she fabricated. So yeah, that that got the bits. Um, so that seems not good. Um, there is um, ringing in your ears, mm -hmm. Nyx. Um, it's a combination of uh, pain, uh, the like authority drones coming this way, and also the the calm. So Can you, I answer the calm? Yeah. <laughs> Hello. I'm assuming it is my calm and not just like a coincidentally timed one. <laughs> <laughs> No, it's it's you. <laughs> X five, it's Quint here. Uh, Is this important? Yes, I'm. <laughs> Furler is here, asking, not so much asking. Uh, she she wants to go to the, the vault. Where are you? Emma is here. We shot her. <sighs> <laughs> <laughs> it just, it's, okay. That noise is summarised with it cuts to Lyco just <laughs> pinching the bridge of his nose. Yeah. <laughs> uh, do not the card face palm. <laughs> I, I, I'll, uh, I'll leave the, you. Um, the diner's gone. Christ. Uh, not Christ. That doesn't exist in continuity, <laughs> probably. Um, Remember Desna? Desna was the one you cared about. Yeah, Desna. Desna. Um, <laughs> I'll. Good luck. I can't reach the cap. I'll try and I'll try and get the little guy. Um, good luck. Good luck. <laughs> <laughs> Hangs up. <laughs> Stands for a second, looking bewildered. Yeah. Uh, if I am at if, if I am at my uh, you know, liberty to uh, to uh, continue this scene, yeah. I, I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna buzz sick. <laughs> yep, so yeah Zig, ah! Zig. Hi. there's an explosion off um, in the distance uh, a couple yes. of moments later um, your calm goes um, I'm fairly certain we established that Nyx has my calm Oh Christ, does he? So Nyx, you hear a ringing Still? Hello um, Oh, for <laughs> 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 it's like the the other oh, wrist rings. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I've got about four comms units at this point. I'm looking 
screen for the kids. Gotta go. <laughs> I Good gang luck. up again. <laughs> <laughs> I um. Is there anything? Is there? Right, where am I? About I was looking down. The, so the you're in the you're in the safe house. You're in the workshop. Right. Um. I knock over something near me. <laughs> cool. Yeah. Like you know, a box full of I don't know random spanners. You knock them yeah. over. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> Alice's point um, mag falls over. I'm just out gonna try <laughs> shouting Zeg and Casey's in there somewhere. Like <laughs> properly belting it out, which I'm not gonna do now for the sake of our listeners at home. Thank you. <laughs> Um, yeah, cool. So you like bellow that out. Maybe like half of it's in frustration as you smash the kind of um, like box over, and then yeah. there's this kind of moment of like silence. That kind of just maybe it's almost like the kind of tuning fork noise of um, the spanners having clattered on the floor <laughs> is the only thing left <laughs> as the camera zooms in on a Lyco, the vein growing at the side of his head, growing darker as well, no yeah. doubt. A darker vein. What? <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. What does Lyco do? I I uh, I, re- I return to uh, to Furler. Okay. She's um standing there in the, the office, kind of just looking at the boards that you have. Work in progress. Uh, so quick rundown: Captain's in communicado. Can't find uh, Zig and um, our Android and not 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 Android AI uh, whatever she is yeah uh, so you know Emma O like there's an eyebrow raise <laughs> uh, apparently he shot at her so that that sounds like an issue um, you know why I I don't know. <laughs> She's just staring in awe at you, like mouth open. The Y was kinda mostly rhetorical in an exhalation and um I'm not I'm not responsible for these people. <laughs> she pinches the bridge of her nose. And I think we cut <laughs> <laughs> And then we go all the way back to Zig. Zig. Ah, yes. That was the explosion. Back yep. in, yep. back in the. Yep. <laughs> kind of jumped, jumped straight back in there. Mm-hmm. Good, good, good. So yeah. Um, what do you do? Uh, well, obviously he would naturally just turn to look and see where the the big bang came from. Mm-hmm. It's a very big question that one, but yeah, okay. Um, um, was it was it sort of like an all surrounding sound, or was it from? Uh, it was like a kind of big boom coming from, like, say, f- like four, maybe four blocks away from some vague oh, right, okay. distance away. So if you kept going yeah. towards the center of town, you'd probably get closer to the location of it. Like you start to hear like alarm kind of drones and such, which isn't un like unusual. If anything gets damaged or whatever, like the drones fix it. Do you know what I mean? So. Aha! Uh-huh, yeah, yeah. Um, I guess. What's the ooze doing currently? Uh, so you look down and the ooze is actually behind you. Oh. Um. Like right behind you, as if hiding. Uh, I think <laughs> he would he would go to pat it and then think better of it. <laughs> it wobbles. Um, and uh, just go right. Don't don't get get lost and he would kind of run towards tr- try and like not super actively sneakily but like not trying to draw too much attention to himself heading towards uh, the town center so towards the explosion yar cool um, yeah let you head up to town um, so like maybe another five minutes or so passes um, and you get towards the town center you can see the far side of it um, I mean, I don't know how much you you frequented the town centre, but you probably knew that was probably some kind of food place. Uh huh. Since again, okay. you did wander around a good bit for a few days, flyering everything, so you mm-hmm. probably took in things like this. So yeah, just look oh at yes, one of the I would definitely know where local eateries. eateries were. And... Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, it seems to be 
an explosion and then the diner seems to have caved in on top of it yeah um Uh, does anyone seem to be sort of like leaving or uh, a lot um, of the kind of like residents people. seem to be quite distant in terms of like quite far uh -huh. away from this place as if explosions aren't common yeah it, it, is it is it like as in if anyone was in there there's no way they would have survived or is it like... general your fire marshal skill sure I'm just going to quickly add fire, Marshall. <laughs> <laughs> My name is Marshall. Marshall Fire. Um, <laughs> Marshall Fire. Marshall Fire. Life science? <laughs> um, chicka chicka slim machine. Uh, physical sciences, probably? Hmm? Physical, physical sciences, science. pro probably, right? Um, or engineering, yeah, if that's sure. a skill. Um. <laughs> uh... Hold on, engineering, what am I better at? Uh, no, it doesn't make a difference. <laughs> uh, you would not have wanted to be in there when that happened. Cool. With, um, your, with your tin that you got. That is bad. Okay, Diners um, aren't supposed to do that. Ah, oh, brats. Um, <laughs> uh, can I... Uh, <laughs> can I just like detect magic or something? See if there was anything... Um, it's really upsetting. Yeah, you could try detect magic. Callum's more like, emotional. Yeah, you could do detect magic. Yeah, isn't that? Doesn't it take a, a wee bit of time to warm up? Oh, that's a good question. It might be like a fucking ten minutes thing. Have we read it and we'll see? Uh, one minute. Oh no, it's duration. Uh... So. Casting time, one standard action. And what's the first round? So, couple, the good thing is, each round you concentrate the same area can determine. So, around six seconds, you're not in combat. Yeah, so. so, you can determine the third magic source you can see. And if the duration is a concentration up to caster level in minutes, by the way. Um, yeah. So, your level, what, seven? Seven. So, for up to seven minutes, you could focus on this. And. What is it? Each round you concentrate, you can determine if one magic source you detect is from a spell, magic item, or other effect, or the cast level, blah, 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 blah. You can't determine if there are magic sources in areas you can't see, or if there was a magic source in area at one time, but has since expired. Right, okay. Interesting. Okay, yeah. so you can't see in the diner would be my my one point to that. Ah, okay, cool, cool. That's fine. I won't bother then. But there would be um, no issue with you having stood there, done that, and moved, like moved on. If that makes sense, because you're not in combat round, so. Yeah. So, uh, like, I think I think he would kind of try and get a feel for if there was any sort of magic at play. But if you know, does mechanically he can't see into it anyway. Um. He would have just gone. Oh well, eh, I can't really see anything. I guess. I guess a bolt, unless he sees something like someone suspiciously bolting from the scene. So, you know. Are you using the magic then? Uh, oh, I might as well. Cool. Pop it in chat, and then we'll go from there. So, you're going to get within 60 feet of the diner and do that. Yep. So, cool. 60 feet. And then. Badushk. General, I'll give you a choice between oh, perception sorry. or mysticism. Ooh, I would probably prefer mysticism, I think. Oh. Let me just double check. <laughs> oh, yes, mysticism. They're very close. Shebang. Oh. Cool. I am. Um, you turn on magic vision. Detective mode, as it would be called for Zig. Yes. Zig active. No. Anyway, so you turn that on, and much like turning night vision goggles on to look at a fire, there is just 
light in front of you. Kind of hard to focus. It's almost like uh -huh. um, a headache. I think he'd stop pretty like straight away. Mm -hmm. And just be like, ah. It's as if there's then... a lot of like, residual magic yeah. kind of scattered in the um, area. And I think... I, I... I think that would be enough to kind of put him off, like delving in because it's he's is just on himself, mm -hmm. on himself, on his own. Mm -hmm. um, um, yeah. So he would probably just turn around and head back to the ooze. Turn around and the ooze is well, just in the direction right. of where he left the ooze. The ooze is right um, behind you. Ah! <laughs> it wobbles. Well, I guess following me. Is the same as not getting lost. I mean, you gave it a command and it interpreted it as best it could, so. Smart is. <laughs> it is smart is. Um, <laughs> can I, like, toss it a bit of tat that I've got? What do you have? I don't know. I think I've still got a. a... Hold on, let me check my, my bag. Um, I still have one tinfoil blanket. <laughs> Yeah, I think he would take. I think he would take the tinfoil blanket out, go to like throw it in, and then be like, mm. "I mean, you could wrap yourself in a tinfoil blanket and maybe go explore the burning diner." Oh, that's a good point. I know. Wouldn't I become like a baked potato though? Depends what way the tinfoil was folded. <laughs> I don't think Zay could be confident enough in knowing which way to fold the tinfoil. <laughs> um. <laughs> You're a space um, wizard, don't you have powers to fix that? Probably. <laughs> oh yeah, I've got like life bubble and stuff. I oh yeah, irradiate, you're right. <laughs> 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 that way you don't have to search um, for survivors if you made sure there were none. If there are if I just <laughs> killed them anyway. Ah, oh, don't worry, I'll help you melt. Um Chaotic evil good. Yeah, no Is that an alignment? <laughs> <laughs> chaotic, chaotic evil innocence, I think, is what it's. Uh... Chaotic big picture, I think that alignment's called. Um... <laughs> um, no, yeah, I think yeah, he would he would look at the tinfoil blanket for a bit and yeah, just toss it. Yeah. Do you see if he kind of? I think he'd put it in front. He wouldn't like just throw it in its face or on his face, um, but he'd like place it on the floor in front of it. <laughs> okay. Um, the thing just kind of slowly like pulls the blanket into itself. Slurps I think up. Zig watch which watches with some weird morbid fascination. You see all the kind of like shiny, sparkly effects as it seems to be like pulled apart inside the. There's there's that weird kind of low buzzing sound, and then yeah, it uh, kind of just looks at you, wobbles a bit, then mm. coughs up an item that hits you in the toes. Ooh, it's a hard hat. Oh, nice! It puts it on. <laughs> it then kind of wobbles at you. Zig kind of smiles at it and nods and says, Is this where you were heading? It just turns around on the spot. Shall we go back? It turns around on the spot. I think Zig would just head back the way. <laughs> Not towards the, the diner, but towards that the way. safe house. Yeah. Yeah, the ooze doesn't move. And Zig would walk a wee bit and then turn around and look at the ooze. It turns on the spot and stops again. <sighs> Do you want to lead the way? And then it heads towards the diner. And Zig adjusts the hard hat on his head and sighs and follows the use. Cool. We cut from you then as you like pull the <laughs> strap under your uh, like Isoki chin and then, you know, grit your teeth and follow the ooze and we have that shot of the ooze in the, the background heading towards the big inferno diner and then the shot of you walking across the front of the camera and we then um, as you cover the camera I'm going to like... assume the hard hat is just a generic cosmetic thing it doesn't I mean, really do anything it's got a torch on it oh sweet yeah 
<laughs> That'll do. So um, that's going onto my camera as, sheet. as you cover the uh, the camera, and then as the person walks past, it's as if the camera pans down a corridor with weird kind of triangular shaped bulkheads everywhere, and we have a Zora finally. Yes. As you dock on a Vesk capital ship, a very familiar territory for you, quite frankly, especially. I am just Vesk warfare in general. Your pod links back up, sticks into the side of the hull. I am the camera shot then reveals that obviously the hull seems to be made up of these as well, so layers of ablative deployable Vesk armor. And then Yeah. You are escorted by some of the Obsidian Star members as they walk through these corridors. As I said, they're kinda like, you know, Standard sci-fi octagon shaped corridors that have mm-hmm. like struts that are triangular so they meet in a point at the floor so you have to constantly step over the bulkheads as you walk forward. Um, okay. Reason for this is to stop in like boarding actions being as convenient um, because it provides cover every bulkhead as well. Convenient. Yeah. Practical war mm-hmm. tactics. <laughs> Um, also just Ever increases. For this design, yeah, and it just, it, it's also just more um, structurally sound having triangles everywhere. So you know. Essential. Yeah. So it also just like triangles. Um, yeah, who doesn't? So, as you get escorted through the ship, obviously it's a huge capital vessel, and the seems like this seems to be where the Vesk are operating from above versus. Um, there's a lot going on. It's you can recognise different casts of Vesk in here as well. There's a lot of um, what would be dubbed politicians, I guess. Um, the man that's such smug in the book, probably, <laughs> being one of them. Yeah, right. Um, <laughs> the smug sage wizard um, guy. <laughs> so there's a lot of um, you don't really get civilian Vesk, but you get what I mean. Um, yeah. Civil Work servant a Vesk, yeah, and. <clears throat> you notice a lot of action. It's almost as if like the Vesk could be operating the Viscarium from here. There's enough people of different kind of vocations and um, that you pass on the way. And uh, yeah, you walk for quite a bit through the ship as you're being you're being escorted. Um, do you do you ask anything? Do you say anything? Do you inquire anything? Do you try and get a look at things you're not supposed to? Like, you talk to me, what's the Vesk? Like, what's Zora's? Would... What, what's Vesk? What's Zora's, uh, mind? I'd be looking for... I'd be looking for, like, portholes as I walk past. I don't feel like I'd get any proper answers for the people that are just not escorting me. They're probably just getting told to escort, so... Yeah, and they're, they're not members of the Obsidian Star you recognise, either. I am... Okay. It's not like people you worked with. I am so... Either they worked in another cell of the Obsidian Star you didn't know about, or they're new, right? So you head all the way down, uh, and you eventually get to uh, like an elevator. You go inside, it closes over, it starts to do its amazing turbo lift noises, and then it then the lighting in the elevator changes. It goes from being you know standard kind of white harsh lighting to um, almost black light. And then okay. the doors on the Edgy. other side of the elevator open into an office. You walk out of the elevator. The guards do not follow you. And that elevator closes over behind you. Across the, uh, the kind of standing desk. For you, because Vesk don't sit down, obviously. Um, you just see the, the commander of the Obsidian Star. Matva, the event horizon, as she stares back at you, and then she looks she... up. Was she my commander back when? Yes. Very cool. Um, she is the head of the Obsidian Star, and was back then too. Okay. Um, and let me just make a wee note here. Cool, Matva. Yeah, uh, it's, does the equivalent of what could be considered a smile or inhaling? as a Vesk, you know, both look the same, and straightens up ever so slightly. Uh, she's at least a foot taller than you, at least. 
Um, yeah, and like one of your shoulders broader. <laughs> um, very big. Uh, covered in what looks like kind of gold armor. And uh, she dismisses the desk. So the two kind of um, prongs that hold it up. Uh, the plate of the desk itself, the that part vanishes, shimmers away, and then the two prongs go into the floor. She walks forward. Uh, do you want to roll sense motive? Or are you good? Um, it's rather what I'm good. Yeah. I mean, there's no the point anyway, because I've got a terrible sense motive, but it's, <laughs> then, I'm probably just going to kill anyway. Yeah. Like, so, like, she kind of, like, stalks forward, sort of aggressively at this point, and then, uh, once she's in arm's range of you, two fists smack your shoulders really, really hard. Um, how well do you keep your uh, balance, Zora? Can I get my wee? Try my best. Can I get my wee? <laughs> wee f- are we fort safe? Fort safe? Mm-hmm. We fort safe. Uh, are we fort safe? Like. Um, let me just gauge how well this went on my side. Yeah, I'll give you that. <laughs> you do well. It's um. The Vesk salute, you know, where you get punched in each shoulder <laughs> by the uh, air. Can they back? <laughs> the group, yeah, uh, oh, you 100% can, yeah. Do you want to roll, roll some kind of athletics check then to see how impressed she is? Yes. Yes. Saluting. <laughs> <laughs> Very athletic salute. Oh my oh, god, so good! <laughs> So good! <laughs> and that 20. Um, at that, we just have a massive grin that is unmistakable at this point go across her face, um, spreading almost ear to ear, which don't exist because Vesk don't really have ears. And we'll take her break there as she smir- or, like, just smirks and smiles at you. Um, and it ends there. Uh, so we'll, we'll take her break there until quarter past. I will see everybody then. Say goodbye, folks. Goodbye. Goodbye, folks. Bye, folks.